Hey everyone, I'm Mark Sievers and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite country desserts to make, which is my one bowl banana cake. So growing up, banana bread is one of the very first things I learned how to bake with my Nan and one of the very first things I baked on my own as a teen. So bananas are one of my favorite things to bake with because I think they add so much delicious flavor. And I'm gonna show you a couple tricks for making the most fabulous and flavorful banana cake you've ever made. And what I love is that I don't need a stand mixer. I don't need a hand mixer. I'm taking it back to old school and I'm using one bowl and a spatula. So in my bowl, I have classic things like flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, brown sugar. All of the measurements for this entire cake are gonna be at my website, marksievers.com. So I just wanna show you though, my tips on how to make this cake the best. So I have all of the dry ingredients in a bowl and I'm gonna add one extra large room temperature egg right into the bowl. And then I'm gonna add my, kind of my secret ingredients. I use honey so much in both sweet and savory cooking that I just think it adds a little bit of sweetness, but it also adds like a really beautiful warmth to recipes. And I just love that you always have that little hint of like honey, I love it. And then some really good vanilla. So about three quarters of a teaspoon right in. And then I have some, let me give you a little overhead view. So I have a little bit of room temperature butter and milk that I've melted and cooled. And I'm just gonna add this right to my mixture. Perfect, just like that. And then here's the trick for bananas. So when I am thinking of a banana cake, I don't want the essence of a banana flavor. I really want to bite into big, beautiful, ripe chunks of banana. You know when you eat guacamole and you feel like you're winning at life when you get a big piece of avocado? That's exactly the same sensation that I want every time I make my one bowl banana cake. So bananas, these are very ripe. They are um, medium size. And I would say if you can get them even darker than this, let them ripe and, and really get nice and dark, that's where you get the best flavor. Mm, and they smell so good. So I'm gonna use about four bananas. Actually, you know what, these are kind of small. So let me grab another one because we're gonna use five tonight. So you want, make sure that has really good flavor. So the, I'm gonna prepare these bananas two ways. So the first way I'm gonna add banana into my one bowl banana cake is I'm going to thinly slice them. So a little overhead view, and I'm just taking a knife and just kind of slicing up the bananas, just like this. And I'm gonna do, so that's gonna give me those big, beautiful chunks into this cake. And notice I haven't mixed anything in. I'm just adding it all into the bowl. I'll mix it all together in a moment. So let's do, there's a little end, take that off. So let's do two this way. So this is gonna give that beautiful kind of texture in the cake. I love making this dessert because it's just really simple. And it's, I almost always have overly riping or ripe bananas in the pantry or in the kitchen because I buy them and then I forget to eat them. But it's a very cozy cake and it always seems to be appropriate regardless of the season. So now I'm gonna take just a regular old dinner fork and I'm just gonna mash some bananas. I'm gonna mash about three of these. 
So if you're using really big bananas, use four. If you're using kind of smaller or medium sized bananas, use five. If you, and you can smell the banana, it smells so good. So I'm gonna do three this way. I mean, how quick is this, right? What I love about this dessert is, of course it can be served after dinner with a little bit of creme fraiche. I love creme fraiche with this room temperature creme fraiche versus whipped cream or something. The creme fraiche has that beautiful kind of tartness that is just so delicious. Of course, you can also serve this with my vanilla bean ice cream. I will make sure to link that as well so you can get that fabulous recipe. And now, it's just about mixing it all together, making sure that it's really well mixed. So, it's a messy job. But I mean, this is like really, really chunky and just delicious. So I wanna make sure I mix it well enough that there's no pockets of dry ingredients, right? So I'm just gonna kinda of fold around. Oh, the cinnamon smells delicious. The bananas smell amazing. This is one of Ryan's favorite things to have for breakfast, too. I don't blame him. So, that looks perfectly mixed. Oh, it smells so good. So now I'm gonna show you how I prepare my pan. So I just have good old standard eight inch cake pan, and I wanna do a little bit of piece of parchment paper underneath, uh, on the bottom, so my cake comes out really nice. And I've seen all these different ways where you fold parchment and you, you fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it and then you line it up and cut and I don't know. I, I don't have time to learn how many folds I need. So I just take a piece of parchment paper, good old fashioned pencil, draw around it and cut it out. So that's what my grandmother used to do. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing and her cakes always came out perfect. So they were always delicious. They were always moist and flavorful and always came out of her pan. So I'm doing exactly what she did. And then I always save this little piece of parchment paper because that you can use for loaf pans as well. So here's my pan, here's my parchment. And then there's a couple different ways of preparing the pan now with butter and flour. So if you have something called Baker's Joy, this is a great um, baking aid, and it's basically um, like a nonstick spray that has flour in it. So you can spray the bottom like this, spray the sides, and then take your piece of parchment, put it down flat just like this. I'll give you a little overhead view, just like that. You can then spray it again and spray the sides, or you can do it the old fashioned way, which was, I'll take that piece of parchment out, take a little bit of butter, butter the bottom of the pan, just like that. Take your parchment, put it right inside. Take a little bit more butter, whoops. Butter that, I'm getting so excited about this cake. <laughs> butter the parchment, just like this. and then take the pan and just butter it on the sides. So this is, if you don't have a pastry brush, I do recommend getting pastry brushes if you can. They're a great tool to have in your kitchen and they really are great for egg washes and for preparing pans and all kinds of things. If you don't, you can just use your hands or my grandmother used, used to even use the piece of paper that came with the butter that was wrapped in, just, you know, um, smudge it around there. Smudge it around, I think that's the word. And then we're gonna flour it. So take a little bit of just regular flour, sprinkle it in. And then here's how to get that perfectly floured pan. So you just kind of knock it around, make sure you're covering the parchment. 
And then, I don't know if I can show you this overhead, but I'll try to do it at an angle. So what I wanna do is I wanna roll the flower around the edges and kind of knock it about at the same time. And you'll, you can't see it overhead, but what's happening is the flower is coating the pan in a nice, perfect, uh, even way. And then you just tap it out, and they voila, the perfect, perfectly buttered and floured pan. So now I'm gonna take this batter, and I'm gonna scoop it into this pan. Oh. I mean, so far you really don't need to have any baking skill with this cake either, which is kind of nice. It's one of those things you can really throw it together pretty quickly. And, you know, in under 45 minutes, you have a beautiful banana cake. So just smooth out the top. And then what I like to do is bang the bottom, make sure there's no air bubbles. Some people wrap it on the side of their countertop. I think that's a little loud. So just like this. And that's it. I mean, how fast was that? So let's go into the kitchen and get it into the oven. So one bowl banana cake is gonna bake at a preheated 350 degree oven, and it's gonna go anywhere between 25 and 35 minutes. And I say that because it depends on how many bananas you use. If you're using, sometimes that when you put that cake tester in to see if it comes out clean, you it will sometimes catch that those big chunks of banana it can be a little falsifying. So check it a couple times in different areas um, in and around that center point just to make sure that you're getting an accurate uh, toothpick read. So set the timer. I'm gonna set mine for about 30 minutes and I'll check it from there. So the cake is out of the oven and it's been cooling for five or 10 minutes. And now I wanna take it out of the pan so we can cool completely on a cooling rack. So this is how I get this delicious one bowl banana cake out of its pan. I have a nice cooling rack here. And what I do is grab the side of the pan and then clean hand, tip the cake over just like this. Oh. Take off that piece of parchment and transfer it just like that. So that's how I transfer this delicious cake onto the cooling rack so that it becomes ready to serve. But of course I have no patience. So I'm gonna cut into this warm cake and take a little nibble. So the house smells amazing. The cake is so tender and you can serve, you can definitely serve the cake warm. Probably not hot because you do want the inside, as it cools, the inside will set. So, oh, look at that delicious cake. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And I love serving this with a little bit of creme fraiche. I'm gonna put a little creme fraiche on the side. Room temperature, it's always good. And let's take a bite. So many bananas, I love this cake so much. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. So delicious, just the essence of banana. I mean, it doesn't get more earthy than that. And I love it again, just that little bit of creme fraiche. Let's taste it with the creme fraiche. Mmm. The yummy sweet cake, tart creme fraiche. Perfect combination. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you're notified of new videos as soon as they post. And for the full written recipe and all of the instructions, head over to marksievers.com. And I will see you guys next time. For now, I have some very hot banana cake to eat. Mm. Bye guys.
This recipe and more can be found on my website, marksievers.com. Thanks for watching. Can't do it. <sighs> that could go in the blooper reel. All right, here we go. Ready?